I think thought leadership is working for Emerson and other clients of ours because none of them deal with a simple product or solution. It's all very complex. In order to kind of magnify the different tactics that they were doing, the blogs and the webinars, they looked for a, another way to um, extend that conversation in different ways with their customers. So they worked with us to develop this E360 platform. They came to us and asked, how do we change this discussion with our customers? Thought leadership needs to look different than selling or trying to convince somebody of a proposition. The primary thing we've been missing in our industry is someone to understand all the dynamics, some of them regulatory, some of them uh, other kinds of things, to make sense of that in an objective way that really becomes about solving the challenge that we mutually face together. How to approach it doesn't always lead to the exact gadget that we sell, but it is something that we face as a challenge together and we can put best practices and frankly be a consultative resource to the customer. I'm lucky enough to get to attend all of the E360 forums and help them with the logistics, but what I get to do is witness kind of the magic of thought leadership happen there. The audience is a full mix of OEMs and end users, contractors, wholesalers, different kinds of suppliers or testing partners to the industry. And when you have that full body of people in a room, when an end user is stating his uh, kind of problem and the contractor's working out how he could deliver a solution or an end user how to, to manufacture a system like that, it is the kind of form that brings a different kind of response and thought process, I think, in everyone's mind about how to solve it. You see a lot of long and passionate conversations that happen on site between Emerson and their different channel partners and their customers because it's a perfect opportunity. It's a day filled with information that is impacting their business with a lot of Emerson personnel available there to help them kind of navigate their problems. You know, they just really get to connect in a different way and people opt in to be there. Emerson's content is constantly coming up and as they do their research, Emerson is becoming the leader in helping them kind of navigate what their solution will be. Not only did we intend to be a thought leader in this process, but frankly it has happened very naturally that once you start speaking into people's uh, plan at an early stage, they immediately want feedback on a more frequent basis as things change. Whenever there is a new change or dynamic or ruling or regulation that happens in the industry now, people immediately seek our feedback. And if you aren't putting out content that you're customers are looking for on a regular basis with a really concerted effort, you're going to fall behind. Someone else in your industry is going to take that lead.